Now, uh, Bobby, you were 14, and then this huge tragedy, which actually touched the nation, touched you so deep. So suddenly you fell into drugs. Can you tell me? Well, I, I wouldn't blame drugs on, my, on, my, on those tragedies. It may or may have not. You know, I feel like I was born um, an addict, that I was born with like, a, you know, an empty space inside of me, that I was, um, you know, an empty spiritual hole, and that a lot of addicts feel that way. I knew I didn't want to be taking drugs, and I didn't understand why I kept doing it. I had iron willpower. In every other part of my life, I gave up candy for Lent when I was uh, 13, and I never ate candy again until I was in college. And I gave up uh, desserts for Lent the next year and didn't eat desserts until I was in college. And I was trying to bulk up for, I played uh, sports in college. And I felt like I could do anything with my willpower. And I, I could not believe that it would not work against uh, drugs. And I, you know, I was shooting, uh, uh, I was doing intravenous heroin. That was my drug of choice from when I was 15. And uh, I couldn't understand why I couldn't stop. Um, I, I would, I, the most demoralizing feature of addiction for me was that incapacity to keep contracts with myself. I'd tell myself, okay, I'm not, never going to do that again at 9 o'clock in the morning. And I would say it honestly, sincerely, earnestly. And at 4 o'clock that afternoon, I'd be doing it. And I could not understand why that was happening. And, you know, it's cunning, baffling, powerful. And, um, uh, you know, ultimately I got, uh, when I was 28, I got sober. How did you make this decision? Well, I, you know what, I, the thing is, I, I tried everything, but I did not try 12-step programs because for me, it would have seemed insane to go into a group of strangers and start talking about yeah. anything private because you know the consequences for doing something like that in my position seemed just, it, it just would have seemed you know cataclysmic to do that it would be in the papers the next day this is what i would think yeah. i had the 12 steps are our intent are are grafted to induce a spiritual awakening. They're not, it's not a religion, it's not a guy, it's not a, um, there's no cosmology, there's no, you know, ideology. It's just, it's intended to induce everybody to find their own path to their own version of God. And um, it worked very quickly for me. And I, as soon as that happened to me, I had a spiritual awakening a couple of months in. And that, um, that compulsion that I had just disappeared and it was like almost like i had never had it before it was really it was a, for me it was as much a miracle as if i had you know learned to walk on water I, because I, I have been trying honestly sincerely earnestly for 14 years and nothing worked